Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is John Frank Smith, Sr., and I'm co chair of Citizens for Hornet Education of Fairness, CHEF, and am announcing today the filing of a Title VI complaint by a coalition of concerned citizens of CHEF and the Honey County chapter of the NAACP against the Honey County Board of Education to address the board's intentional racial isolation of students in Honey County Schools. Dr. Reverend William Barber II, who is the president of the North Carolina NAACP, has stated the following. The Honey County Board of Education has chosen to continue to advance a student reassignment plan that maintains and contributes to racial inequalities within its school system. African American students and their families are being injured and we will not stand for that. The NAACP was formed for the purpose of standing against injustice and today we endorse and stand in full support of the Title VI claim filed against the Honey County Schools Board of Education. Now let me give you some factual information pertaining to the complaint. In 2014 to 2015, Honey County Schools served a student population that was 49.2% white, 24.8% African American, and 11.1% Latino. By contrast, the student population at Dunn Mill and its two feeder schools were the only predominantly African American schools in the district. Dunn Mill student population was 47.2% African American and 31.2% white. Hunted Primary was 46.2% African American and 29.2% white. And Wayne Avenue Elementary was 52.3% African American and 28.6% white. Since late 2013, the Hunted County Board of Education has discussed and impending middle school reassignment plan. A board appointed committee developed reassignment plans that would have addressed the existing racial segregation at Dunn Middle School. The board rejected all reassignment plans that addressed racial, racial segregation at Dunn Middle. Instead, in April and May, 2015, the board voted to redistrict schools only in Western Hornet and not to redistrict the Central and Eastern Mill schools. Those schools were and are Hornet Central Mill, Coates Irvin Mill, and Dunn Mill School. However, the schools they did redistrict are the New Highland Mill School, Overhill Middle School and Western Harnett Middle School. The board also failed to address overcrowding at Harnett Central Middle School. The overcrowded there was stated by the board as a top priority for them to address. In 2015-16, Harnett Central Middle School is operating at 121% of capacity. Honey Central is using 23 mobile trailer classrooms 
and one mobile bathroom trailer to accommodate an estimated 1,150 students, 200 more than the school's 950 student capacity. There are an estimated 134 open seats at neighboring Coates Irvin Mill. Coates Irvin Mill's capacity at the present time is 83 percent and there are 246 open seats at nearby Dunn Mill. Dunn Mill is operating at a capacity at approximately 62 percent. There are also an estimated 264 empty seats at Western Hunted Mill School and that's about 72 percent as far as capacity operating at, at this particular time. The board's intentional maintenance of a racially isolated student population at Dunn Mill has created increasing disparity between Dunn area schools and the rest of Honey County. Dunn Mill School is 69% overall minority, 47% African American, and 31% white. In contrast, Harnett Central Mill and Coates Irvin Mill are both 47% overall minority, that's 18 and 19 percent African Americans, and 53 percent white. The Harnett County schools are 51 percent minority, 24 percent African American, and 48 percent white. The reassignment plan that the board rejected would have balanced these racial disparities and addressed the dangerous overcrowding at Harnett Central Middle School. At Dunn Middle School and Wayne Avenue Elementary, African American, Latino, and white students have all fallen further behind district and statewide end of grade exam passage rates as the schools have become more racially segregated. Now there is some other information that all of you would get pertaining to the, the factual information. I, I'm not going to share all of the information that I have in the printout at this time and I want to say to the press we have information for you also. Now during the 2012-2013 school year, you need to really listen to this. Dunn Mill had the highest teacher turnover rate in the school district at 33 percent. How can kids learn? About the, the legal claim, the legal claim, Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 prohibits discrimination based on race, color, or national origin in programs or activities like Honey County Schools that receives federal financial assistance. The Office of Civil Rights at the Department of Education is responsible for investigating education-related Title VI complaints. This complaint alleges the board intentionally discriminated against African American students by rejecting proposed school assignment plans that would have alleviated severe racial segregation and also ala, ala, also uh, the board also acted uh, improperly as far as the impact of the school's district African-American school children by preserving racially isolated performing schools in the Dunn area. We are hope, hopeful that intervention by the Office of Civil Rights will assist the board in moving forward to ensure all school children in Hunnett County have equal access to educational resources by implementing an effective student reassignment plan that addresses the racial isolation 
of African American students in Dunn and the poor utilization of middle school facilities. As, and it is my, my opinion that if the board will do what they have to do, we can rid ourselves of all of the mobile units that we have at the schools in Honey County. Thank you so much.